Hey, what's up guys? Thought I'd get on here and share with you some little DIY project I've been working on the, the TJs lately. I've got a lot of inspiration from TiggerCon. He has the Silver JT and basically it's some pretty cool rock lights that I had that were spares. I put them under here as a under the hood upgrade and um, I think it provides a lot of light as you can see both the TJs have it and I'll just kind of share with you how it works. I have it connected right now to the level switch on the TJ and basically when you shut the hood the lights turn off and when you open the hood the lights turn on I thought that was a really cool um, uh, solution for upgrading your lights underneath the hood the TJ over here has the same lights and I actually put a, a relay with a toggle switch on the dash that's over here so here's the toggle switch that controls the lights underneath the hood turn it on and off there pretty simple I'm gonna show you guys in the next few segments on how I get all this installed um, it actually looks, they look pretty cool at night all right so there's a couple ways you can install these lights um, one easy quick direct way is to buy this adapter well basically what you do is you take out the original bulb some TJ's had this level switch here you just basically remove the bulb and you put one of these in and then you wire those lights and you have lights on the red jeep we're, i'm going to go ahead and show you and walk you through on how i'm going to wire that one up but ultimately um, that's a pretty simple all you need to do is buy this and the lights and have some wires and that's a pretty simple method to get the uh, hood light upgrade on and going for you now there's also a second option if you have a s pod or some kind of of switch panel that you've installed you can also add it to one of those um, i have one here already on this jeep and um, there are some spares like i have two spares right here and then i could have control with those lights from within side of my jeep using this panel switch now if you're interested in a video on how i installed this and that switch panel go ahead and uh, check out my other video on how I installed this little S pod for the Jeep. This is the template and these are the little lights that I've already put on the green Jeep. We're gonna be putting them on the red Jeep today. And I've got some sheet metal screws and some drill bits to make pilot holes and then also a larger drill bit to feed the wire through. This comes in handy to mark your um, areas where you're gonna make your holes. So we're gonna use this little rubber piece which comes with the lights to use as a template and then we'll just go ahead and um, basically drill our holes right in these areas here i'll show you a little close-up all right so for me i'm a little bit short so i'm gonna have to lower the hood down onto this wood block right here that way i can work right in here so i'm gonna put the lights right over these slots in the hood and i think that'll be sufficient enough right there so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my uh, rubber thing and just set it right here where I want the light and then I'll make my marks. All right, so you can probably see the daylight out of the new three holes there and this one right here will be oversizing. So after the holes have been transferred over to the hood and drilled out we're going to go ahead and use a file to deburr any of the holes that way it doesn't cut any of the cabling or the electrical cables. So I drilled the hole a little bit smaller that way the screw can bite into the material and make a good solid uh, tight tight uh, fitment for the uh, for the screws all right so I'm gonna install the light now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my cable and feed it through the larger hole and then pull it through the other hole on the other side of the hood and then I'm going to add my screws And there you have it. So I have both the lights installed, looking really good, and 
two cables hanging out the back end where those two rectangular slots are. So we'll just go ahead and feed our main cable through and connect them to this. And then I'll show you how to uh, do the funnest part, which is basically landing all the wires and getting the switch, the little toggle switch and the dash mounted. So let's get over there and do that. All right, so for the wiring harness, I went ahead and went with this kit called Nightlight. Um, they do offer a series of different lights and things like that. It's not the lights we actually are installing under the hood, but I like this kit because it came with a lot of equipment that you ne don't necessarily have to have on hand, which are some butt style connectors for the female and male end connectors. I'll show you that on the wiring harness on the other end. But basically, I'm going to be um, trying to accomplish this setup with these and some heat shrink. And then we'll be installing this toggle switch on the dash for those uh, under the hood lights. So let's go ahead and check out the wiring harness. All right, so here is the wiring harness. Pretty pretty uh, simple uh, wiring harness. It's already made for us. We don't have to do a lot of modifications. That's why I went with this for 11 bucks. This is a no brainer. So you have your protected 12 volts with a fuse. You also have here your relay. And this is where you're gonna plug in your switch at the on the dash. And then all of your switched power source is going to be right here for two lights. You're going to have this, the left light and the right light for underneath the hood. So pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and get that installed and I'll show you what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and run our main cables um, up this channeling here and then out through one of these holes. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and connect my wires the red with the red and the black with the black all right so the wiring for the lights are done we're just going to go ahead and fold this up pretty nice and tuck them in that way if we need to access them later they're readily accessible right there so now this tj didn't come with a courtesy light for under the hood it just came with the plug and i've already tested it and there is 12 volts here so instead of landing the relay wires to the battery, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these off about right here and we'll splice them into the 12 volts that already exists for the courtesy light. And I think that'll be a clean install and we'll go ahead and tuck these wires in and we'll start uh, feeding the wires over to our dash switch. All right, so there is the cable on the other side through that grommet. And we'll just go ahead and plug in our dash switch wiring uh, right into there. Okay, so as you can see, I just bundled up the wires and plugged in the one to the relay harness. So they're all going to be bundled up and zip tied up here out of the way. All right, so for the toggle switches, what I did is I just cut out three rows out of the speaker cover right here and fed my wires through the back and then I have both of the cables here for the harnesses. And basically when I cut out those three, these were able to snap in perfectly. So I think it looks pretty cool. You can actually buy this whole cover with four switches on it on Amazon. I'll list a link in the description box below. But um, yeah, I think, I think that was uh, um, a pretty simple DIY. These switches fit perfectly if you cut out those three rows. So this is what it's going to look like with no light in the area. And uh, yeah, they actually do provide a lot of light. If you can see on the ground, a lot of light on the ground and underneath the hood. All right, guys, it's pretty much going to wrap up the video. I think these lights turned out really cool. I think they're going to be super useful and helpful out on the trail and camping and overlanding and things like that. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and feel free to leave those in the comments box below. And if you have any interest in any of these items that I'm using throughout the video, check out the description box below. Uh, we're going to end the video here. You guys have a good day. Peace out.